5.3, number 25, find the average value of the function on the interval. At what point or points in the interval does the function assume its average value? So we're going to start by finding the average value. To find the average value, you just integrate from a to b. So here from 0 to square root of 3. And then you would just divide by b minus a. So 1 over b minus a. That will get you the average value. So you find the, the area and you just divide by b minus a. So 1 over b minus a. All right. So it's 1 over square root of 3. Um, antiderivative will be 1 third x cubed minus x from 0 to the square root of 3. So square root of 3 cubed. So that would be one third x. So square root of three times the square root of three is three times the square root of three is um, three square root of three minus square root of three, and all that minus zero minus zero. So minus zero. So one third times three is one. So square root of three minus square root of three, we end up getting zero. And then we have to multiply by 1 over square root of 3, and we get 0. All right, so what's that tell you? Between 0 and square root of 3, this average value of that parabola is 0. So graphically, what does that mean? If we look at the graph of y equals x squared minus 1, that's 1 square root of 3. 0 and square root of 3, this has some number, and this has some number. The magnitude of both of those is the same, so you end up getting 0. Okay, so when does the function itself equal the average? Well, I just drew it. It's going to equal 0 right at 1 just based off of my sketch. But usually you'd have to set your function, which is x squared minus 1, equal to our average, which is 0, and oops, 1. So x equals plus or minus 1. So where does the parabola equal 0? Equals 0 right there at 1 and negative 1. The mean value theorem for integrals guarantees that um, on the interval from a to b, so 0 to square root of 3, the function must equal the average at some point if it's differentiable and continuous. So the average is 0, and it does indeed um, become 0 at one point on the interval.